So I'm here with Mark. I, and he's an amazing teacher. He's, I mean, I've enjoyed his videos. And um, I hear he's got a new project coming along. Yeah, that's right. I'm writing a book. And uh, John here he used to be a developer. And he's still our developer. I still do a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, his wife works for the company I created a course for, Pluralsight. And we've known John for probably over a year now. He's gone into the field of photography. And my wife is a model. And so she's worked with John for a while. And he's also taken pictures of our family. So that's how I know Jean. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> He'll come over and we'll have tech conversations. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm looking forward to uh, getting more in depth with your book and maybe even taking a look at Swift. Uh, so, so anyway, Jean is here because my wife had the idea. He, he was going to come over anyway. But Jacqueline says, you know, hey, why don't you bring over your photography equipment <laughs> and we'll record an impromptu <laughs> video. And talk about this thing I'm working on. Yeah, I came over here over here expecting <laughs> to take pictures. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm doing video and this is yeah. you know, video for the first time. So it's yeah, interesting well, and I'm I'm loving doing it. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll see how it goes. So Mark, I heard you just finished up a plural site course. I did. Yeah, I created a course on collection views for iOS. Yeah, okay. So if you've done a plural site course, what are you doing with this writing a book? Well, the book was unplanned. It, it wasn't my plan. I had different plans. After I finished the Pluralsight course, I was going to create another course on one of my favorite topics, you know, the animation. And, oh, I love animation. Yeah, yeah. User experience, things like that. And uh, so that was going to be my 2019 and continue with my YouTube channel. Um, but the Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference happened and everything changed after that. <laughs> really? Yeah. That kind of like threw a wrench in my plans. And as I was, I remember while I was watching the keynote, like they announced this new technology, Swift UI. And I was pissed. Like when they announced this, I was like, you, you know, like, I'm like, what the f? Because we didn't, no developer knew about it. We had no preparation whatsoever. As soon as they announced it, we were all shocked. I didn't want to do anything with it either. You know, I just like, well, maybe I can get away with not knowing it. You know, just keep it off to the side. But then the more videos I started to watch through this developer conference, the more I got interested in it and it decided it was something I really wanted to do. It became really interesting to me. So you started out trying to learn it. Yeah. I mean, I hear it's still, it's, it was in beta at the time. Still in beta. Still in beta. Yeah. Hopefully by the time they view this video, yeah. it won't be out of beta. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, it was still in beta, and that made it really tough to learn because as I started going through it, you know, you have questions. You're like, well, how does this work? And then you try to look for answers, and there's nothing. There's nothing on the Internet. Apple has their documentation. But when it's in beta, you know, a lot of the documentation for the code is just blank. They, they have nothing. And you're trying to figure it out, like, well, let me try this. Let me try that. So it was a ton of experimentation, uh, which is time-consuming in itself. But as I started learning something, like I would take a lot of time and learn something. And then I think to myself, well, I don't want another developer to have to go through this whole cycle that I just went through. So I'm going to document it. And that, that's kind of like what I do with yeah, my YouTube yeah. channel. Your videos so are yeah. awesome. Every time I figure something out, I'll share it with the development community. And it just kind of like built up from there. So then why did you pick a book? I mean, instead of another video? <laughs> that's a good question. What happened was, it wasn't my, it was initially my intention to do video because that's just what I've done in the past. And I've never written a book before. But as I started learning Swift UI, my documentation for myself, you know, like I keep my own notes, started growing and growing and growing. And it started to become unorganized. And I'm like, well, how can I organize this better so I can quickly find answers when I need them? And then as I started to organize it, I realized I was putting it in a format that I could reuse and share on social media. I had so much uh, references and documentation build up. I'm like, this could actually, I could actually put this into a book. And it started to evolve from there. And that's when I started looking for solutions on like, how do I publish? Because I have no idea how to publish. So your book is really interesting to me. I mean, when I looked at it, it's like, I don't think I've seen any other books like it. Yeah. I mean, this is about UI and 
there's screenshots, <laughs> and um, usually you have to read a whole bunch of code. And, yeah. you know, and I like reading code, but code and text to describe UI, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So this new technology that Apple came out with, Swift UI, is it's pretty impressive. You know, it's basically you use code to declare what the UI is going to look like. And so for the very few lines of code, you can have a whole screen created. And uh, look, one of the things I noticed, you know, I'm part of a, a Slack group for Utah. And we have a Swift UI channel that we created. And we started sharing pieces of UI. You know, you could just grab a little piece of code. It may even be 20 lines. Throw it in Xcode, and then you can see what the UI looks like. You couldn't do that before. Uh, you had to share, like, the whole project file, you know, yes. and run it just to see what it looks like. Well, Apple did a really good job where you just take that code and it give you a live preview. Or, you know, if you install latest betas on your phone, you can run it on your phone, too. Uh, so it became, as I started using these little clips of UI code, I realized, I'm like, wow, you know, I could really, like, teach this in a new way. And I'm a very visual learner myself. So, you know, that's why I like I create videos. It's really easy to teach. Someone can watch the video and say, oh, yeah, that's how. And I do a lot of animations, too, to show how things transition. Well, with uh, Swift UI, I found out that I could easily uh, create a screenshot for every little topic that I was going to teach. Or, like I said, it started out as a reference guide for myself. Uh -huh. And so, for me, as being a very visual learner and, I guess, a visual teacher, too, it just became a natural next step. So I started collecting all these screenshots and all these clips of code. And, uh, and I was just going through screenshots. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. And I grab that code. I'm like, you know what? Probably other people learn this way, too. You know, maybe other people would like a reference guide like this that I was building up. And it started off in Google Documents to create this. But then I realized there's some limitations. If I wanted to publish it to a PDF, yeah. There are a lot of limitations with Google Documents that I couldn't get around. So you were you were showing me, so I, I mean I'm a photographer. I like yeah. to take pictures, and so images are everything. I mean I want I want that screen. So now what you're saying is that I can look at that picture, and say oh, I want that, and I can take that piece of code, cut and paste it, yeah. and and run it, and it's yeah. going to show me on my phone or. In the X code, the in the X phone simulator, yeah. it's going to show me that exact same screen, and I'm going to have the piece of code, and I can just like snippet, take snippets from your from your book, yeah. paste it into code, and create an app. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. There's more to it than that. Like you can create definitely the views and the UI for your app to help get you started, of or course. create the button you want, or you know, create the um, the login form or text box, you know, things like that. Yeah. You definitely create all the components uh, that you can get them from the book and piece them all together to compose it the way you want. Whoa. Uh, Mark, it's been, it's been fantastic talking with you. I yeah, mean, you it's, too, John. It's been it's really, it's really great. I am I'm just wondering how I, can get this, how I can get your book. Yeah, just uh, I think the best thing to do is just go to BigMountainStudio.com and you'll see it on there. Big Mountain Studio. Yeah, BigMountainStudio.com. Yeah. Com. Okay. And um, any reason for the Big Mountain? Uh, well, you know, because I live in Utah, and when I wanted to come up with a name uh, for my company, you know, I just I was living up in Midway at the time, oh, yeah. which is like this little uh, Swiss village up in the mountains, and it's beautiful. It's, it's huge mountains all around, snow-capped mountains. And so I'm like, yeah, Big Mountain. And, you know, you have to do that whole thing where you have to look for a website and do searches oh on domain. <laughs> and, people, and then people steal. As soon as you do a search in the wrong place, they immediately yeah. register it because they think you wanted to buy it and they'll, steal, they'll make you try to pay more. Yeah, exactly. That, that kind of like, that's what happened to me. I originally wanted the website to be uh, Big Mountain Dot Studio. But then someone bought it up and, you know, they don't use it. So, so now you're stuck with BigMountainStudio.com. BigMountainStudio.com. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark, if I am, if I'm gonna, like, get early releases or, uh, you know, get more content, where's the best place for me to actually? Or if I want to, if I want to help you create videos, how's the best way for me to do that? Oh, okay. Well, I have a Patreon site. A Patreon. Yeah, Patreon.com 
forward slash Big Mountain Studio. Oh, Big Mountain Studio again. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and those guys have been great. Actually, I wouldn't be able to do any of this uh, without their support and their help. And, I mean, they provide more than just, like, financial support, but they also provide a lot of emotional support and early feedback. So that's my, like, my inner circle of users right there. You know, everything I'm working on, I share with them. Uh, they give me feedback. I do surveys with them. They give me some answers. So I hear that this is not just your first, going to be your first book. I yeah. hear you've got another book in the works. Yeah. And um, how do I get in on the early... Uh, <laughs> The beta releases the of the book. The beta releases of the book. How do I get input? How do yeah. I tell you you got mistakes in it? <laughs> and how do I tell you about your mistakes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I do have um, a couple more books. Like I said earlier, uh, there's so much just uh, with Swift UI coming out. I wanted to create something that could ease people into Swift UI and get them up to speed quickly. And their next natural step would be learning about animations and interactions. So that's going to be another book. And then from there, their natural next step would be to integrate with some data. You know, every app works with data. So there's another uh, technology that Apple came out with called Combine. So there'll be another book for that. And if you want to get in on the early releases, I the do, beta. I do. <laughs> yeah, my patrons have early access to oh. all the material that I create. And uh, without them, I probably wouldn't even be able to get as far as I have. Yeah, those guys, uh, they've been great. They're like my inner circle of advisors. Uh, so I can ask them anything. They know what I'm working on. I share ideas with them. They give me feedback. I do surveys with them. Uh, they get the early content. You know, they tell me all the mistakes I make. <laughs> yeah, that, see, that's where I want to be. Is, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. so yeah, this, so it sounds like a Patreon's place is where to be. Yeah, yeah, you can find out everything I'm doing and, and things behind the scenes too. You know, like a more personal look at my life as far as like what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so, you know, I'm thinking like, wow, it's been since Swift UI came out in beta, it's been about three months, less than three months. And I'll probably work on this book a little bit more. You know, I really want to polish off, I'm still getting feedback and so I want to make it as easy for developers to use as possible. So I'm thinking maybe the next book will take three to four months, and the next book three to four months. Because I think during that time, even in that time frame, Swift is going to keep changing. You yeah. know, and I'll probably have to update this book before. <laughs> before you know? the next ones, yes. Yeah. Welcome to the world of technologies. I know it's changing all the time. Yeah. 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 So it's been um, it's been really good meeting with you. Yeah, you too. I look that. forward to seeing your book, and um, yeah, it's I really enjoyed talking with you. Yeah, yeah. John wasn't even we didn't even have this plan. He came by to drop off something, and my wife contacts him and says, "Hey, do you have any video equipment? Why don't you bring it by? We'll run some test videos." <laughs> and so here we are. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's fun. I mean, I I usually take pictures. I usually like to take pictures and yeah. getting my foot into video has been kind of cool. So I yeah. appreciate that. I appreciate that opportunity also. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Thanks, John. Thanks everyone for watching. You can download a free version of the book, check it out, see how you like it. And if you like it, then you can go on to the full version of the book. So Mark, I heard you do, you're doing it, you did it, you, you, so Mark, I heard you just did a plural site video. Yeah, that's right. I create a, a course, course, site course. That's a, yeah, you're right. It's called a course. Don't give me that. It's a video. Now let's start over. <laughs> that's now I'm like, wait, are we keeping this or? <laughs> Don't know okay. if we are. We'll cut that out on post. Yeah, yeah. No, I am going to post that one too. <laughs> I hope you, yeah, like. It's the guy always looks at the camera. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they say something, he's like. <laughs> he just looks at the camera. <laughs> uh, so, what? What are you saying? Thank you. Thank you to your patron. Oh, okay, okay. Um,
I don't know. It's, it, you're distracting. I'm like, I'm like, okay, sorry. Okay. I see this thing happening, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so, right, so we got to run that again. Yeah, yeah. So, Mark, I hear you're doing. Yeah, now I can't hear you laugh. I'm not going to be able to pull this off. Okay.